Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. So today I'm actually going to be doing a get to know me um, tag video, random questions thing kind of thing. Um, just because I feel like you guys don't really know me. So um, I thought this would be kind of fun way for you guys to like, I don't know, get to know me. So um, I have the questions on my phone, so I'm going to be looking through there. So let's get started. Um, I'm wearing just a black shirt, um, some jogger pants, and my Michael Kors watch, and my Ken bangles from Princess P, and some random um, studs from Aldo. Um, <laughs> personal. Um, I... You know, looking now as an adult at my situation, I don't think I was in love with the person. I feel like I was more in love with the idea of being in love, and I was more in comfort with that person. But I was pretty deep. Um, but no, I don't. I don't know. I've never been in love. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I think we all have. Um, but it made me stronger, and if I had to go back and do it all over again, hell yeah I would, because I feel like it made me, it made me who I am, and it kind of built my character and, and the sense of what I will and will not put up with, with a man, so, yeah. These are very personal. I'm actually not tall at all, I'm 5'3". No. You think I'm gonna answer that after the holidays? Yeah, okay. Yes, I have three tattoos. Um, all pretty visible. This is probably my most meaningful. Um, it says Vida, and it means, in Italian, it means life. But when I was smaller, I, I wouldn't be able to pronounce Abuelita when I was talking to my grandmother. So I kind of just shortened it and I made it Vida. So, um, so that is really the main meaning behind this tattoo right here, um, is my grandmother's, what I used to call her, but it also means life in Italian, which is actually kind of perfect because she was my whole life, and I'm going to stop talking about it before I get emotional. Um, then my, this was actually my first one, and it says believe right on my wrist, I don't know if you guys can, hold on, let me show you guys better, it says believe right on my wrist and it's kind of just a reminder for me to always believe in myself and to believe in the good of other people and then this one right here I get so many questions on this tattoo um, right there it says I am a warrior in Arabic and um, actually that tattoo came from a Demi Lovato song called Warrior and I really, 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 really related to the song because of my eating disorder. So it was just kind of a reminder to always stay strong and to remember that I am a warrior. I'm not a really big fan of piercings. Piercings actually scare me. Um, yeah, if I were to get any, there's actually two piercings that I really would consider getting, and that would be my nose and. Um, the middle of the lip, like that little stud, but I don't know if I could pull that off. But um, but yeah, no, I'm not really into piercings. But if I were to get them, those would be the two that I would get. What is that? I don't know. What daddy? Okay, I'm probably gonna get really judged for this. I love, like absolutely love, reality TV, and my favorite show right now is Love & Hip Hop, and that's very embarrassing to say, but I am so obsessed with that show, I just, I love it, so that's my favorite show right now. Don't judge me. Oh. Um, 
I don't really have any. I don't... Yeah, no. I don't really have one. No favorite bands. <sighs> not having bills. Not being an adult. Being in high school. I miss all of that. Um... Hmm... I think my favorite song right now would have to be... That's a very good question. They're all Ratchet songs. I like the Bobby Shmurda song. Um... <laughs> anything Meek Mill. Um... Yeah, but I wouldn't say that I have like a favorite song at the moment, but those are, are that, those are my favorite songs like right now, but they're not very new. But I don't know if that counts. But yeah, those are my favorite songs right now. I am 22 years old. I will be 23 next month. Um, yeah, I'm a youngin. I look older. A lot of people tell me I look older. Which is bad because that means when I'm 30, I'm gonna look like 40. I am an Aquarius. I'm very hard headed. I'm very stubborn. But I am very loyal. Sometimes to a fault. <laughs> um, somebody who is very ambitious. Um, somebody who is caring. Somebody who is. Um, a, I like a man who takes control, like a, like a boss. Um, I like somebody who is, again, very goal-oriented, very family-oriented. Somebody who makes me laugh. Um, somebody who kind of has like that asshole side to him. Excuse my French. But when he's with me, he's just like a softie. I just described Kanye. So my perfect man would be Kanye. <laughs> yeah, Con like a guy like Kanye would be great. Like a super asshole to the world, but when he's, you know, with his girl, he's like a mush. Yeah, and very goal-oriented and very hungry for what he wants and, and all of that. So that would that that's what I look for in a man. One of them is actually up here, have it in my room, and it says Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. So that one, that's something that I I kind of tell myself every day. And um, another favorite quote of mine is actually by E.T. And it says, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, that is when you'll be successful. And that is actually a quote that I have been living by since I've been working towards my career. So, yeah favorite actor I love Denzel Washington I think he's brilliant um Denzel Steve Carell is hilarious I love Steve Carell um Ryan Gosling of course and um I actually like Jamie Foxx as an actor I love the color pink I think it all depends. Like, if I'm getting ready to go out, then I definitely want some loud music. But, like, for example, like, when I do my makeup or, like, whenever I'm getting ready and I'm by myself, I sometimes prefer to listen to soft music. I... That's a very good question. I'm not, I'm not very religious, but I am very spiritual. So I do try to quiet my thoughts and think positive and kind of just say a prayer whenever I'm feeling sad. Um, I like to to do YouTube videos. I like to go on Instagram and distract myself a little bit and just check out different artists and things like that. So, Or I like to go to the gym. The gym too is something that I like to do whenever I'm sad. It all depends. If like I'm getting ready in the morning, like if it's just like a quick shower, it takes me like 20 minutes. If I'm like washing my hair and shaving my legs and doing the whole ordeal, it probably takes me about like half an hour to 45 minutes. I know. Oh, it takes me like a good hour. Like a good hour. Hour and a half. 
if I'm feeling really extra. Yes, I have, and I'm not proud of it. Um, I used to think I was a badass in middle school and high school, and I used to fight everybody. Turn on. Like physical? Or physically, I like a tall guy um, who's fit, um, nice smile. Um, not physical, somebody who's goal oriented, somebody who knows what they want family oriented and somebody who is charming I hate I hate rude guys like I hate people like things that are very like okay like if we're out to dinner and a waiter like hands you something and you don't say thank you that to me is like so rude because I was taught to always say please and thank you to anybody so that to me is a huge turn off um immaturity is a huge turn off um guys who always want to hit the club is extremely a huge turn off i had actually been wanting to join youtube for six years before i even actually started and i was afraid because i i just didn't know what type of feedback i was gonna get and i know that it shouldn't matter but it does and yeah, I was scared and the reason that I actually did it was because I wanted to face my fear and I wanted to see where it would take me and I wanted to um, just put myself out there. Beauty is something that I've always been very passionate about and I wanted to see if it was something that I could do and if it was something that would um, benefit me and it has and I've gotten great opportunities so far and I can't wait to see where else YouTube can take me. So that's why I joined. <laughs> Spiders, cockroaches, alligators. I, oh my god, I am so afraid of alligators. It's not even funny. Like alligators, crocodiles. I am, I will can die if I were to see. And I live in Florida. Okay, try that on for size. I live in Florida, and I'm afraid of alligators and crocodiles. I just won't deal with them. Alligators and crocodiles are the most disgusting animals in the world. They do not understand why I have to be in Florida. They need to just not come anywhere near me. Like, I will fucking cry. Um, and heights. I'm very afraid of heights. I was actually watching Intervention. It's, it's actually one of my favorite shows, too. I should have mentioned that one. I was watching Intervention, and the little boy was, like, crying, begging his brother to go to rehab. So that obviously made me cry like a little baby. Like, two hours ago to my mom. I love mommy. Alexis Marie is um, actually, funny story, Alexis Marie isn't my actual legal name. My name is just, um, well, I don't have a middle name, but I'm not going to say my name on. But um, Alexis Marie is what my mom wanted to name me. And it just so happens that I fell in love with the name when I heard it one day in school and it kind of just stuck with me. So everybody knows me as Alexis Marie and XO. I always sign when I used to do like my notes in high school, like you know, when you used to pass notes, I always used to put XO on the bottom. So um so yeah, I kinda just combine the two. And also that's what really made me realize that Drake and I belong together because we love XO. <laughs> the Boss by Sophia um Amoruso, the nasty gal creator. Love that book, it's my favorite book. I'm actually reading it again now. Girl boss, and I'm also reading, um, I don't know if it, yeah, I guess it counts as a book, The Dummy Lovato Motivations I Love. So I'm reading that every morning. Anger Management with Charlie Sheen. I was actually just watching it before I started filming, and I love Charlie Sheen. So that's a really good show. My best friend. I just said goodnight to her, actually. pizza i love sushi um i love colombian food dominican food hello mango con queso frito y salami the best tres corpes i cannot it's so good i want to go to abu dhabi i want to go to bora bora and i want to go to greece
the kitchen? I do. Okay. <laughs> um, when I saw my mom this afternoon, y'all were trying to trick me to see who I- Y'all nasty. Don't worry about it. It takes a lot to insult me. Um, because I- I'm kind of an a-hole. And my friends and I are constantly insulting each other. So it's very, very difficult for somebody to insult me. Um, so no, I, I can't really remember. I mean, if I got insulted just like two minutes ago by my friend on the phone. So White chocolate or red velvet. So good. My two favorites. Or carrot cake. I don't know if that's a flavor. We'll make it a flavor. I used to play the piano. I don't know if I still got it, but I used to play the piano and I also used to sing. So, yeah. I don't know, I mean, I, I still sing, but I don't even, I haven't played the piano since I was like eight, eight or nine. So I don't know if I, I still remember, but yeah. I would have to say my Michael Kors watch and my grandmother's ring that I actually don't have on me, but I wear it almost every day. Um, I don't know, just to have her close. <laughs> Volleyball? Like, a year ago on the beach. It was actually Little Freak by Usher and Nicki Minaj, my favorite song. Is that like how I text you? I don't know, hey, with one Y? Or if I really like you too wise. <laughs> oh, like a pickup line. That's what chat line is. Um, no, I never really used a pickup line. Um, I, yeah, I've, I've never used a pickup line ever. That is my pickup line. Hey, as you can see, I have no game. Yesterday, I was actually with um, my best friend and we went out and we had a great time and we danced and we drank and it was just awesome little girls night that I needed. Everybody, everybody should answer these questions because I want to get to know you, y'all got to know me, now it's my turn to get to know you. Alright guys, so that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... I don't know, it's kind of different, it's not a tutorial, but if you guys like these videos, then let me know down below. I'll definitely want to do more of them for you guys. So, I hope you guys learned a little something about me, other than the fact that I'm cray, which we already knew. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.